A piece of pain-killing cake. Yeast is an organism and is essential to baking, winemaking, and brewing. However, we probably wouldn't know that yeast, the single-celled microorganisms, is in the same kingdom of fungi classification as molds and mushrooms. They possess a cellular organization similar to humans, and their genetic content is contained within a nucleus. Unlike single-celled bacteria, which do not have a nucleus, and are considered prokaryotes, yeast is classified as eukaryotic organisms. Recently, a team from Stanford University engineered baker's yeast to create powerful narcotic painkillers. The new technology might bypass the most common painkilling source, opium poppy, and lead to faster and cheaper methods of creating many types of plant-based medicines. The opiate-containing painkillers referred here include medicines such as morphine, oxycontin, and Vicodin. Currently, producing these drugs can take more than a year from growing and harvesting on licensed farms to shipping to factories and processing. The science team reprogrammed the genetics of standard baker's yeast, which is used for thousands of years to leaven bread, so that the organism's fast-growing cells were able to convert sugar into the painkiller hydrocodone found in Vicodin in just three to five days. When we started the project a decade ago, many experts thought it would be the mission impossible to replace the entire farm-to-factory process with yeast, stated Christina Smolk, associate professor of bioengineering. This is only the beginning, explained Dr. Smolk. That's because it would take 4,400 gallons of bioengineered yeast to produce a single dose of pain medicine. However, the new study is proof of principle that such yeast can be used to make complex plant-based medicines. Moreover, the technology demonstrates that narcotic pain relievers can be adapted to produce many plant-derived compounds to fight cancers, infectious diseases, and chronic conditions such as high blood pressure and arthritis. The finding does have a potential if it could downsize to home-brewed narcotics when this technology becomes truly and easily reproducible. However, in order to prevent yeast-based opioid production from criminals, safeguards have to be in place before the technology becomes more efficient in the future. Few critical issues have to be considered in the safeguard guidelines, such as engineering the yeast strains to make them less appealing to criminals and tightening security around narcotic-producing yeast strains, similar to the regulations now used with prescription painkillers. In addition, making sure that DNA synthesis companies screen all orders for DNA, watching for those that could be used by criminals to generate opiate-producing yeast, and extending current narcotic laws to cover opiate-producing yeast strains are all actions that need to be implemented. We need to ensure that the bio-based production of medicinal compounds is developed in the most responsible way, said Dr. Smolk.